Releasing relationships that do not serve you. We all have those people in our life that have to be there, but they're not helping to guide us to the best version of ourselves or have the best energy for success, happiness, and fulfillment. So what do we do? We're going to talk about that today. But first, before we give you what we've got, you give us what you've got. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you know the next time that we drop a video to help you and connect with your woo. So Pixie, you and I have both had people, multiple people in my case, in our lives that don't really serve us. Tell me a little bit about how you come to that realization and how you in serving your best interest and your energy help to cleanse that out. Yeah. So I can think of a few different people where it was just feeling, I guess, energetically. And also you can tell um, that they are pulling from you more. You know, maybe this is someone that reaches out to you only when they have an issue, only when they need help. (laughs) instead of you know they haven't talked to you in a couple months and ask how are you doing um you know you can kind of start to feel into that and feel into you know is this person filling my cup as well as me filling their cup or is this just a one-way street relationship as you feel into that energetically what I've done is either I've actually just started to like step back a little bit in communication not completely cutting them off because there's some people you don't have to burn every bridge right but yeah, I don't, when I say releasing relationships, I don't necessarily mean like severing and closing a door and it's, although there are those <laughs> there can be in the case of abuse or things like that, you know, sometimes you do need to move on, but, but I mean, releasing any energetic cords that we have to that relationship, any feelings of indebtedness, guilt, shame, um, any obligation, obligation feels really, it's a, that is a very low energy that really drags you down. So sorry, but that, that's really more of what I'm talking about than like closing the door on someone. And I was about to say the other thing I do energetically is I would cleanse the cords. Um, Cutting cords to me feels like there's still a piece stuck (laughs) with me. So I like just kind of cleanse the cords out, like using like Epsom salt baths and like visualizing those cords being released. Um, and then, you know, I might even put their name in a jar of honey, like we've already talked about and just send them love, just yeah. send the peace on their journey because there's no point in sending negative energy or holding on to that. And I also have to look in myself and be like, what is within me where I still feel like I need to attract that. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, and it's really, just to be honest. And, you know, if any of our friends are watching this, we do love you. And we might not be talking about you specifically, but when you do what Pixie and I do, when you are a coach, when you are a mentor, when you are a healer and those are your gifts and that's what you do. Sometimes people will come into our life and take, and we're givers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hear the way that I'm saying this, we serve with gratitude for the opportunity to serve. I'm always grateful when I, when I see a need that I can meet, cause I'm grateful for my gifts. I'm grateful for the opportunity to meet the need, but when it's those people who are just complete withdraw, withdrawers, withdrawers, yes. <laughs> they're only making withdrawals <laughs> and not making any deposits. And we're not talking about payment, but think about a relationship that you've been in that felt very one-sided. You loved him more than he loved you, or she didn't pay you as much attention as you paid her. Um, Or, you know, again, even if it's, I have, there's two friends that immediately came to mind, Pixie, just a minute ago when you were talking, and they are people who are in my life, but I have to release the how close we're going to be. I have to release the frequency. I have to just let that out a little bit, almost like when you're fishing and you let the line out a little bit. So it'll go a little bit farther. I just let the line out a little bit, give myself a little bit more space. Uh, There's one person who's very, um, and I, and I adore this person, but she's very selfish with time. And if I'm spending time with other friends, she, she's very, there's a, there's a jealous energy there. So I have to release that 
and get that a little bit farther away from me so that I can still love that person. I can still have that friendship that does have some value in there. But when I feel that energy crossing my boundaries of limiting me from experiencing the other beautiful souls in my life, then that that's when it's gotten a little bit too close. So I just, I release that a little bit out. I'm not cutting it. I'm not letting it go. I'm just releasing it out a little bit. I feel like that's important to kind of give that space to for you, because then you can start to, again, look within and go, okay, what do, what kind of relationships do I want to attract? what am I hoping to receive in these relationships? And whether you're talking about a love relationship or a friendship, you can actually step back from these things and like make a list of, I would like my future husband to do, 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 do. And then really embody that, you know, like embody those things that you're wanting to attract as well, because life is a mirror. So absolutely. And I I've gone through kind of an evolution with friendships in the place where I live. So I feel like on my journey, I outgrew some of the friendships that we, that I had. They were, um, people who I I don't think ill of, but my energy shifted. I started really embracing my awakening and these people were not in that place. They were more worldly, more material focused. Um, and you know, material is part of our life, but it's not our whole life. Um, and so I, I started to feel a distance there. And so I went through a period where I didn't have, I have friends all over the world, beautiful souls all over the world that I'm blessed to call friend, but in my area, I didn't have a lot of those close relationships. And I, I've been through kind of an evolution where there was a slump and I really desired that I desired, you know, the friends to go out and have lunch with, or the, you know, this, the girlfriend that lives down the street. And so I started to visualize the types of friendships the types of relationships that I would really value. And in visualizing that, yes, I lit candles. I, I did, I, I use, have used crystals of several things to attract this to myself, but now I look around and I have exactly what I was envisioning. And I didn't put specific parameters on it. I didn't tell the universe, bring me three good girlfriends and a couple of really good guy friends. And I want to do this and that. No, I said, bring me the type of relationships with people who I will love for who they are, who will love me for who I am and who will have an equal exchange of energy. Yes. That's the key here though, is that equal exchange of energy. Don't you think? Huge. Say that is, I mean, it's like, you're filling my cup. I'm filling your cup. We're both here for each other, whether we need help or whether we just want to celebrate each other. And like, yeah, when you have those people in your life, that's where it's just amazing. So it just feels good. I mean, it's almost like us here together. We've said this a couple of times when, when we, when we've come on to do these, like this just feels like it's in flow. It feels good. It's not exhausting. There's not an emotional pull to it, but it's filling. It's fulfilling. Yeah, exactly. And again, life's a mirror. So we've done our work and here we are. <laughs> so. Yeah, here we are. And, and, you know, it's been, it's, it was the evolution of it did take some time, but we patiently allowed what evolved to evolve. And here we are. And really that's manifestation at its finest. So if you guys have any questions about how to release relationships in your life, or, you know, if it's time to release a relationship, you know, type them down in the comments and we'll come in and we'll answer those for you. Um, I just, I think that, that we've been really clear with, you know, equal exchange of energy and, you know, I don't know about you Pixie, but do you sometimes feel as though because of your expertise that there are people who will kind of latch on or because of who you have been to someone in a previous era of your life that, that they kind of latch on and, and there's old energy trailing there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, and what I've noticed too, with what I do is a lot of people, they want me to give things that I'm giving to clients and sometimes that's for free or whatever. And you have to draw a boundary um, because you're not receiving the same type of love. Yes, we can be giving and yes, I will show up for them as often as I can in a healthy way. Um, but not overly giving where I feel drained. So yeah, you do kind of have to detach a little bit. Yeah. And make sure that you're serving from a full cup. Yep. (laughs) 
very, very important. Just please everybody know that if there is a relationship in your life that is draining to you, it's perfectly fine for you energetically to take a deep breath. Well, and physically, we should all do that, (laughs) but to energetically take a deep breath and just pause for a minute. I'm not saying that you ignore this person. Do not do the silent treatment. That is a very low energy, low emotional intelligence tactic. And it's actually a form of emotional abuse. So not saying go silent treatment, but there, there can be a stepping back. Just like I said, you know, just let the line out a little bit, that jealous friend or that controlling friend or that overbearing family member. You can just let the line out. You can wait. You can wait a little while to answer the text. You don't have to answer the phone every time it rings. You can do it on your timing, on your terms with love in your heart. That's the key, not animosity or hatred in your heart. So it really is the intention from which you are coming that guides the energy with which you release. That's huge. And if you guys need any help with how to really heal yourself to get to that space, let us know too, because we'll help you out with that as well. Absolutely. Check out the video description. Our contact information is down there. Um, Lots of freebies. And then you can always type in the comments. And before you go, if you have not already, which I think you have, but if you haven't hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you know the next time that we drop a woo video or something else to help you lower your stress and live your life with more happiness and more success.